And we're back with just one, just one more video on Flotsam. Just one, just one. Uh, I have another method I want to try out in this for surviving the map. Uh, the reason, ah, great. Yeah, the map, the camera's still messed up. Um, but the reason I say it's surviving the map, I want to do it without building, without harvesting any food or water. I don't want to harvest any food or water. <laughs> I know that sounds like that shouldn't be a thing that would work, but... We're going to give it a try anyway. I have a, an idea as to how to survive without building those buildings. First up, we'll just set everyone's priorities to get it all straight. One specializing in uh, salvaging things, one specializing in building, and one specializing in nothing but, well, transporting stuff around the place because hauling, very important. Anyway, let's get this started. I just want to skip by the early bits first so we can show you the strategy we're going to be employing on this particular run through. As standard, we immediately construct two drying racks. At the moment, those two drying racks have provided us with six dry wood. We'll be throwing down a work shed, and then we'll be getting ourselves a boat. Just all standard issue stuff. Woodworking shed up and running. Grab ourselves, say, four pieces of rope so we can put together some boats. Uh, once that's all done, I've also put this out here so we can throw down ourselves a couple of mooring points. Just so we can throw up some boats. We want boats so that we can go over and get ourselves a hands on the sail. Throw down ourselves a couple of mooring points. Soon we can put down a couple of boats, and at that point we can go get our hands on a sail. Uh, for the time being, I'm just letting my uh, my little survivors run around and uh, harvest stuff as they see fit in everything in that area. This should only take another couple of minutes. We have our first two boats complete. We're going to send one off immediately to salvage that sail. We don't want to dawdle around here. We need to go scrounging. We want more food and more water, and we're not going to get any more here. So once we get the sail, we're, we're clearing out. Oh, and I should probably put in some beds for these, uh, these poor, poor survivors. Just realized I don't have enough plastic. Oops. Uh, oh, there's a big pile of plastic over there. You know what? Why don't some of you go over there and grab some of that? Once we get some more plastic, we can throw on a couple of beds, but we're not going to stick around here. Oh, sail is on its way back. Once that's in storage, we'll immediately, uh, construct it and get out of here. We have enough resources for the sail. We'll throw that down. That should be right about right there. Uh, one second, I'm going to line this up. I don't want to make it... Yeah, there. That seems about right. Excellent. Uh, where are you? Ooh, you're very sleepy as well. Uh, one moment. I'm just going to stick down some beds before I head off. That is three beds building or built. Uh, I think we're good to go. We'll, we'll head out now before we start to get any lower on water. We're on a time constraint here. Right, we'll go along and... Oh, no food, no water. Yep, it's called no food, no water for a reason this time. Uh, how are we doing? Okay, we're going to scavenge you and we are also going to... You know what? We'll grab two, will we? Kids menu eats less. I can live with that. And the other one is a hungry hippo. You know what? We'll take you both. you got to even each other out, right? One cancels out the other, hopefully. Well, I hope so because I have no way of making food right about now. Anyway, we're going to let this uh, salvaging, scavenging go through. That should get us some handy and useful food, which will help top up our food supply. Water, however, we're a little bit short on, but the very next stop is a water tower. What we're going to do is we're going to run through the map only going, well, targeting places that have water towers and places we can scavenge for food. That way we should be able to avoid building any buildings. We should just be scavenging and living entirely off the land. Sort of like pirates. Well... That's the theory. We'll see how this plays out. Oh, yeah, this game really has a chuggish thing whenever you move the camera. Anyway, I'm going to skip this forward a bit while we uh, scavenge all these places. Well, I've managed to scavenge eight food out of here, but I've run out of water. There is no more time. I cannot hang around here anymore, so it's straight on to the water tower. I would have liked to hang around and get just a little bit more food, but you know what? We need the water and we need it now, so time to salvage that immediately. All other priorities rescinded. Someone get on a boat there and grab us some water. Who's off? Oh, they've got to empty the boats. Yeah, no, that one's one of them's off already. Uh, we'll have another one go off and salvage us some of that uh, sweet, sweet petroleum we're going to need to get to the next section. Ooh, and another scavenging mission that shall hopefully acquire us more food. Oh, and when all of those are done, we're going to want some uh, plastic as well. I need some plastic to build up a few things. Hmm. Now, if that works out just right, they should come back with water before our, uh, our, our survivors start to have problems surviving. Well... That's the theory anyway. We'll see how this plays out. Now, the water has come back. They're just going to load it into storage. But you can check up here in the graphs. You'll see um, the red, orange, blue, and green bars. The blue bars are their water ones. So I can tell from this that 
say, for example, these two still have enough water in them. That one has not gone empty. That one, though, has gone dry. So it started to eat into their health. And this one has also gone dry. So it started to eat into their health as well. They need to get some water into them before the uh, their health gets to zero. Otherwise, they could have some problems. Uh, I should probably find them and make sure they go get some water. You know, well, I wish I could. Oh, seriously? I'm not sure if they're going to survive. <laughs> Uh, no, no, don't go back. Don't, what, what are you doing? Just, just go, go, ho go home and get some water. Come on, seriously? That's enough. Yeah, go home, go home. Yeah, that, that, that's better. Um, yeah, I'll skip this forward. If, if they have any problems, I'll let you know. Yep, they, they managed to make it back in time for some water, though I have no idea how their health regenerates. Anyway, that got us just enough water. We've uh, managed to sca uh, scavenge that place for food, scavenge that place for oil, and scavenge that place for water. I think we are fully covered. I think we'll grab one load of plastic and then we'll get out of here. What have we got? Yeah, I, I do want at least a little bit of plastic before I move on. We're running incredibly low. Um, do I have any salvage or metal scrap? Yes, we do. Yeah, well, that's enough of that. Let's move on to the next section. Yeah, I think we'll go... Ooh, which area would be the smart plan? Yeah, we'll go down this way. I don't want the villagers, but I do want this closer water tower. Right, what are we salvaging here? Seaweed has absolutely no purpose for us. Salvage the metal scrap. Oh, yes. Uh, you rescue you? No, 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 no. You can all stay there. Though, let's see what I would have gotten. Turtle? No, thank you. And, oh, dry mouth gets thirsty faster. Oh, no, 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 no. Not for this strategy. No, no. No, no, no. Not a chance. Anyway, those... Uh, one person is going to go salvage there. I'm going to collect some plastic while I'm here also. Oh, and a quick trick I learned here is when a boat's on its way back from, say, one of these islands where you've set it up to salvage, if you cancel the salvage mission and then you queue it up again, someone else will hop on a boat and head out. So before that boat has even gotten back, the next person has gone out to salvage. Otherwise, it will wait until this boat gets back and it's only after this boat returns back to shore that it that uh, another colonist or another survivor will go out to try and uh, harvest the scrap. Just a handy way to speed up the harvesting of these areas because that's pretty much what you're going to be doing with this strategy. Harvesting, harvesting, and harvesting some more. You can do the same with water towers as well. Mm, no, I better double check that. Oh, so there we go. They're, they're on the way back now, so all I have to do is cancel that and hit salvage again. And assuming that boat is empty, someone should hop in and immediately head out. There we go. Boom. Once there, there's only two scrap left, I think I'm just going to head off. Oh, and one thing I'm also going to do is, research-wise, we want to get some improved storage. We can afford it, and now we can put down... Oh, can we? No, I need more scrap. Ugh. Once that scrap is unloaded, I should be able to put down a storage yard and increase our storage capacity by, well, double it, to be honest. There we go. Storage unloaded. Uh, we'll put you right about there. Boom. Yeah, let's see how big we can get this. Once that... Once they're on the way back. Okay, they're on the way back. Time to move. That boat should teleport right back into port the moment we move. So let's just check that out. Uh, moving to leaking water tower. Move here. And boom. Boat is teleported straight back here. We've got all the scrap ready to be unloaded. That's exactly what we wanted. We'll go salvage that water from the water tower. And we will go salvage that scrap from there. Yeah, we're surviving. Okay, water is a little bit low, but I think if we speed this up a bit, we could probably get this working a bit faster. Uh, also, I might want to grab more plastic. Yeah, uh, we'll send another boat out here for some plastic. Actually, wait, no, both of our boats are already active. I might want to build some more boats. <laughs> Whole place strip mined. We've got all the water. We've got most of the scrap. I left a couple behind and I even picked up some plastic. Next area. No need to dawdle. Uh, what will we do? I think we'll go district. How much petroleum we got? Oh, we've only got one petroleum. We can't go through. Well, I suppose we could go through there and then go straight onto the water tower. Yeah, I don't particularly want to go for the animals in the abandoned town. Villagers in the abandoned town? Yeah, why not? Ooh, I stopped paying attention and I ran out of water. Uh, we should move on rather quickly to the next water tower. Yes, that would be a really, really, really good plan. Yeah, this is maybe not my best idea, but I think I can get this to work if I pick up the pace and stop spending so much time building boats and other infrastructure. Uh, you go straight away and salvage that water. Uh, someone else go and scavenge that place. Hopefully we can find some more food. 
I've added on two extra boat docks and one extra boat. Uh, one handy thing about this is when the boats come back, if they're full, the, the pilot can sometimes hop out, move into another boat, and then use that boat to go off again. Just means you can get more rotation through. I think I'll put in a, another four docks on the other side just to decrease travel times, because if there was a, another dockyard over there, the colonists coming from over here could come back in and dock immediately here and then leave again. None of this uh, back and forth all the time. Oh, you've got water. Well, let's send out someone else. Someone else should immediately hop in a boat and go out there, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Good, because we need water. How is all our colonists looking on water? We've got one dry, two dry, three dry, four dry, five dry survivors. Okay, drifters. Drifters, not survivors. Oops. Anyway, yeah, that should get us some water in. Uh, how's everyone looking? One water, two water. Yeah, the rest will be fine. That that should be okay, though. I probably should not let that happen again. Oops. Please strip mind. We've got all the water. Time to go. Right back to the beginning. Uh, we can skip the first place and go straight to the second place. Done. I believe I have water. So, yep, water has just teleported back in. What have we got over here? No, we don't want any of you. We just want to scavenge for food and supplies. That will be fine and dandy. Thank you very much. I would like to point out we have no water production and no food production, yet we're still managing to survive somehow. The only production building we have is this one, the woodworking workshop, and that's simply for making rope so we can build more boats. These drying racks have not been used in forever. You know what? Let's, let's turn off those drying racks because we don't need them. Or maybe we should actually... Deconstruction sounds like a better plan. There we go. And when that's done, we'll stick in another boat section over here. Oh, no, I need a mooring point, don't I? Yeah, well, so once I have more rope, I'll make another mooring point. And once we've harvested everything that's over here, yeah, we'll cancel that and send another scavenger. Hopefully we'll see someone going on the opposite direction. Come on. What are you all doing? Okay, so it would appear all my drifters are taking their sweet time about this. And oh, there goes one. After much more running ahead of the resource drain, I'm, well, the reason I'm doing this is method to the madness. One of the things you'd like to do is build a nice big city. The problem is currently you can't demolish some buildings without leaving annoying problems behind. Like you can't demolish walkways. If you do, the walkways leave those little chunks behind and you can't build over them or do anything with them. Another thing you can't build and demolish is the small storage yards. You build a small storage yard, the moment you demolish it, eh, it won't actually demolish properly or I couldn't get it to demolish properly anyway. So what I want to do is make a, a nice city, but to do that, I want to get all the research knocked out of the way, which I can now afford. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's just knock every single one of those out, shall we? So you get all the research, which means you can build your city whatever way you want, using whatever you want. And we need these, you know, we'll get the lot. We will, we can just research everything because it costs us nothing. We're scavenging off the land. Uh, is this finished? Eh, not quite. Oh, some of these are so slow. In the meantime, I've been scooping up chunks of plastic from around the place and I've been using that to flesh in the walkways. And the plan is to build a nice big base and, oh, yeah, build a nice big base. We've also got Sammy here and Sammy's glitched out again. So he's just going to stand there forever and live as an immortal. He's an immortal, just stands there and causes water to flop around him because he is actually a water god. You can tell because he's immortal. Anyway, uh, I'll just... I'll skip on here, I think, and uh, we'll come. We'll cut back in once I'm ready to do some real building. I managed to get Sammy unstuck by reloading the game. Now they're no longer trapped in that little spot, and also this walkway finished. I thought Sammy was on their way to drop off the resources, so... Mm. Also, the moment they got unstuck, even though they had zero hit points, zero everything, they went and picked up food, well, water there, then food there, and somehow survived it all, even though they had zero percent hit points for quite a substantial period of time. Anyway, we're just going to move forward, but I've got most of the infrastructure in place. It's time to start placing in, well, the good stuff. We're going to put in some proper food and some proper water production. I think food's the first thing I'm going to put in, though I'm going to need, yeah, food trucks. I'm going to need to get some screws together. So yeah, I think it's time to uh, start fleshing in the base. A few more rotations later. Well, by rotations, I mean around the planet a couple of times, according to this map. This is what we're looking at. I've got the food truck stuck in over here. Well, okay. First I got the scrapsmith so I could make the food truck. Then I made the food truck and now we've just stuck in the desalinator. So food, of course, has been chugging along for a couple of rotations. So it's, well, yeah, I've turned out way too much food. I don't need that much food anymore because I've still only got five du uh, drifters. I've only got five drifters. So now that I've got the desalinator up, I can start hiring more because I can now produce my own water. Oh, yeah, assuming the game hasn't hung to death. One second. Well, oh, we got the game back and the desalinator, yeah, just turned out for water. This should keep our water going up quite nicely. 
So now that we've got high-end water and high-end food, it's time to hire a couple more. And over here, we have two perfect candidates. We've got Kevin Catfish, who has Torpedo, which means moves faster, and Stokes Treadface, also a faster mover. So with two faster movers, they're perfect candidates. I will not be hiring anyone who has anything that increases water or food consumption. We'll just be avoiding those on principle. We want to see how big we can take this city, of course. Uh, oh. Now, all I'm going to do is just segment this is probably here as well. Same on the other side. We'll have to get some more plastic, but now that we've got more drifters in drifters on the team, we can definitely get more done in a shorter space of time. But I probably will have to start harvesting more wood. All that firewood came from, uh, well, I had over a hundred firewood just from collecting it from houses. It's amazing how much you can scavenge from houses as long as you just keep scavenging and never stop. Anyway, I'll, I'll skip this forward a bit more as we flesh this in and see just how many drifters you can support on one city that's mediocrely well organized. Right now we're up to 11 drifters on this, uh, on this little city we're building. And I'm about to add in a couple more. They just have the... Mm, I've been trying to ignore the debuffs anymore. I don't care if they've got more food or more water. I realize I'm going to have to hire a lot more and I can't be so picky. I'm just going to have to take what comes. Another handy thing up here is the amount of boats and mooring points you have. So we have 13 boats and 21 mooring points. Just means I know I can throw down a few more boats if I need to at some point. Uh, for the time being, though, let's just have a look at resources. Food, 100 plus, and 65 fish in storage, 45 seaweed. We have plenty of fluid coming in. Plenty of dry wood. Plenty of firewood, though I probably should pick up some wet wood while I'm at it and maybe a little bit of plastic. But by and large, everything's coming along. I've uh, stuck in two desalinators now so we can produce twice as much water and two food trucks. I think I'm going to stick in two more desalinators and two more food trucks. And I'm just going to ignore accommodation. Uh, I've been thinking about it and accommodation will not actually cause them to die. It will only cause them to sleep randomly and it seems they just sleep a bit slower, possibly. And they'll get a little bit of a deduff buff to their speed when they're near sleepy time. I'm okay with that. You know what? Let's just see how many desalinators and food trucks we can cram in and then, uh, oh, and drying racks so I can make more wood. And I think we should be good to go. Yeah, I think we can take this. Well, we've only got 13 now. 40? I think 40 should definitely be doable. And, you know, I don't even know why I'm scavenging these anymore. All they give me is dry wood, um, firewood, and food, all of which I don't need because I can dry out wood incredibly quickly with the amount of drying stations. You know what? Yeah, let's just move on and see how many more we can cram into this city. That is the final desalinator I'm putting down. That's four desalinators and four of these food trucks. So there's four desalinators pretty much in a row here. Three food trucks over there, another one over here. Uh, I even stuck in a couple of water containers so I could have a, an extra 60 water supply so I can go up to 120. But I've limited everything still to about 100. Or is it? Yeah, everything here is limited to 100. So we'll just leave it at that. Now let's see how many of these uh, colonists we can take on before this starts to collapse. Uh, you know, I might even put in some houses for them just because I don't really have anything else I need to build. Uh, yeah, I think it'll just be, we'll use the scrap for housing. Everything else we're going to just zip around the map, picking up as many colonists as, or no, not colonists, um, drifters, drifters as possible. 19 drifters acquired. We even have 22 accommodations so we can fit them all in. The only thing I really care about salvaging anymore is seaweed and drifters. That's it. Uh, as well. And scrap. I need scrap so I can make more of those nice accommodation pieces for them. By and large, storage-wise, we've got 1,300 storage capacity, so we can hold pretty much as much as we... Well, as long as we're only holding 100 of everything, we should be able to hold as much as we want. I'm just going to continue around and start grabbing up even... What is that ringing noise? Never mind. I'm going to just go around and keep uh, grabbing up as many survivors as I can, or drifters as I can, and keeping an eye on wood and stuff like that. Though, hmm... My dry wood is going down faster than I can replace it. That doesn't seem possible. I have four drying, five, five drying racks, six. Maybe a couple more drying racks might be in order. Anyway, I'll just uh, skip it forward a bit more and we'll come back in once we've got a few more drifters lined up. So I finally have the core of the city filled in. All I've done is, uh, <laughs> I've, I've filled it in with housing. Um, we have four desalinators, four food places, some drying racks, and then the rest is all just going to be housing and storage. All the storage is in, all the housing is in, there's no room left inside the box. Now, I could start putting stuff outside the box, but I'm already up to the population, the potential to hold 56 population. So I think I'm just going to go for 56 population and see if it collapses anywhere along the way. Um, yeah, so no more caring about what they are. I will just hire six people every rotation round and we'll stop in once every six people and see what happens. And here we are at 29. 29 of the little... Drifters running around the place. 
the water food, no problems keeping it up. The only problem would be the seaweed. I have to keep moving. You know, I don't want that seaweed going down, but I seem to be able to keep on top of that and seaweed is going up so long as I keep just powering through. The only things I need to stop to pick up are seaweed, uh, more drifters and oil. Everything else I don't really care about. Even the scrap anymore, I don't need the scrap. So I haven't been bothering to collect it all. And there's two more to add. So we're up to 31 drifters. And we'll, we'll keep this going a bit. I want to see if we can get up to 56 and then just see if it'll be stable for a little bit because, you know, I do have to go to sleep at some point. Uh, at 37 drifters, we're looking at, well, excess food, excess water, excess everything. This seems to, yeah, I, I think this is not even close to what this game could handle in terms of the amount of uh, drifters you could have running around, though the game is getting a little bit more chuggish as time goes by, though I think it's a lot better than from when it first started. And let's see, uh, we'll salvage that and I think then we'll head on to the next section. Yeah, I just need another 20, 19, 19 more and we'll be good to go. Oof, 47 of them, 47 drifters. Everyone seems happy, everyone's got enough food, everyone's got enough water. Game hasn't fallen over. I'm I'm pretty impressed. Okay, seems to be holding together, and my storage has not cranked out. And now we're up to forty nine. I only need seven more. Well, they come in batches of two, so I'll get eight, I suppose. We'll go one over. We'll go one over, and then I'm going to call it a game. So uh, let's just let's just move on, shall we? And here we are at fifty nine out of fifty six. Um, I've ran out of housing for the rest of them. I could probably put in a few around the edges, but you know what? This city, it's perfectly perfect the way it is, even if that walkway is misaligned. Uh, there was nothing I could do about that, they just would not line up for me no matter what I did. Uh, oh, problems I'm facing here. Water reserves are low. That's not actually what's wrong. Uh, the problem is, uh, I think the game's just spazzing out because, well, all the duplicates are, sorry, all of the drifters are coming along and they keep requesting water constantly and they keep requesting water so much it seems to drive the, uh, the water sensor nuts. I don't think the game was designed to handle this many drifters coming along. Every, like, all those people with water symbols above their head, they're coming back for a sip. <laughs> and all the desalinators are working flat out to try and keep them, uh, keep them saturated with water. Now, uh, one thing that is a little bit of an inconvenience to keep topped up is the seaweed. I have to keep moving really quickly and keep scavenging seaweed from the rocks. That's probably my biggest limiting factor, or the biggest limiting factor if you try to play it this way. However, that's not really going to stop you, because you can always just go, well, you know what, I think I will harvest all the fish. Just all of them. So, let's say we'll send five, um, five fishing boats there. I think I've only got about three or four of them, do I? But yeah, you have so many drifters just running around the place, you can send ridiculous amounts of stuff. If I find a, a pile of wood, let's say, I can say, go collect that pile of wood, and all 100 of it will just vanish as the boats just swarm it and pick it up. Uh, for example, yeah, there's three fish piles here, and I think there's only going to be one left in a moment. Yeah, there, yeah, we're down to one fish pile already. You know what? Let, let, let's, let's demonstrate that on a pile of wood, shall we? Is that done? Yeah, it's dead. Let's go demonstrate that uh, that amazing collection power. So here we have a giant pile of wood, 124 of it. And let's just assign out five boats to that sucker. And uh, whoop, one second while the game chugs a bit. Yeah, the game is really, really, really not liking. <laughs> it's really not liking how much, how many do, uh, drifters are running around the place. But uh, if you can see here, you, you can watch as my wood goes down at absolutely ridiculous rates. So we'll just send all these boats over here. That's five boats. And they simply show up and they just chew through all of that in... Well, in short order, it'll take them about two and a half runs or so, and they'll completely harvest that whole place out. With this many drifters, you just have the option to build and consume so much. I can, I have like four woodworking places just churning out wood just to keep the whole place topped up with firewood. I, I may need to start building more of those. Uh, no, never mind. This game, a lot of fun, we'll admit. This is a lot of fun to play, but the content is very limited. This is definitely early access because this is all there is, like the desalinators, the food, all that. There's just only a few buildings, not a lot of tech, not a lot of research. Don't get me wrong, I'm not looking for a refund or anything. I'll keep the game. I'm just, mm, if no more content drops or if this is as good as it gets, yeah, th this is more of a, you're betting on the developers keeping this one running. But so far, looks interesting. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and, uh, oh yeah, we're right back to oxygen not included tomorrow. Sorry I got sidetracked on this, but I just wanted to sort of explore the lot of this while it was still fresh in my head. Anyway, good luck and hope you enjoyed.